I've been asked to come and, and talk to a group of uh, scientists and, and policymakers from, from England and around the UK to, to get a better sense of how, what we should do together in our research and, and development activities that, to mitigate and ad adapt to the changes that we find in our weather patterns worldwide. The key point is that what are we trying to do? What are we trying to do in the UK and in the EU to uh, address the problems of climate change. The question that the seminar poses has a very obvious answer. Of course, agricultural innovation is part of the solution to the problems that we're going to face. It seems that in the media today, we spend 90% of our time talking about energy in the climate context, and yet only 26% of greenhouse gases come from the energy sector. On the other hand, agriculture and forestry contribute 31% of all the greenhouse gases in, a, in the world. That alone suggests we should be spending more of our time talking about agriculture and forestry. Agriculture is a cheaper way of mitigating uh, greenhouse gases than the energy sector. So it's a bigger part of the problem, but it's also a cheaper part of the solution. Climate change means we've got to have a lot of new varieties of all crops. And we're going to be able to breed those by conventional means. We'll breed them by things called marker aided selection. We'll breed them with tissue culture. And we'll also breed them uh, through genetic modification. Now, genetic modification is not a magic bullet. It's just one of the tools we're going to need. We've had now nearly 20 years of, of GM crops in the U.S., and it's estimated more than two trillion meals that contain GM corn and GM soy or, or canola and other things have been eaten. And there's not been one example of a stomach ache or a headache or any kind of allergies. Likewise, there's been no in indication that the, that the environment has been damaged. In fact, Lots of experiments have shown that, that GM crops are part of sustainable agriculture. It's really important that uh, the U.S. government continue to engage governments here in Europe because this is a big challenge, uh, climate change. We also have the problem of food security. And we need to work together in order to solve these problems because they're just too big for any country to solve alone. We have a very good and very strong regulatory system and I believe a very supportive public a public that understands that agriculture not only has uh, impact, uh, impact on our climate but off, can offer some of the solutions to the problems of climate change. This is a global problem, not a, a regional issue, and the more that we can do together the better off we are.